With Amex Platinum, welcome to the Centurion Lounge. You get access to the Centurion Lounge, so the sounds of vacation <laughs> start before you get there. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. Everyone knows PayPal is a checkout button for online payments, but now you can use your PayPal debit card online and tap to pay in store. The PayPal debit card is your ultimate pal in paying smart. Everywhere. And now it earns you 5% cash back on a monthly category of your choosing. Restaurants, apparel, groceries, health and beauty, and gas on up to $1,000 of monthly purchases. So let's do this after the podcast. Start earning 5% cash back with the PayPal debit card today. Don't just pay, PayPal. Terms apply. See PayPal app. This card is issued by the Bancorp Bank N.A. Pursuant to license by MasterCard International Inc. Con Hills Pet Nutrition, ayudar a las mascotas en albergues es fácil. De hecho, acabas de hacerlo. Porque Hills y iHeartRadio se han asociado para donar una parte del presupuesto de este comercial a Greater Goods Charities para ayudar a alimentar a las mascotas en albergues. Así que simplemente escuchando, estás haciendo la diferencia. Y simplemente al alimentar a tu mascota con Hills, ayudas a alimentar a las mascotas en albergues. Y las ayudas a estar sanas, felices y ser más adoptables. Es gracias a la ciencia. Visita hillspet.com diagonal iHeart o toca el banner para saber más. I'm a cleaning lady, a single mom with three kids, and an IQ north of 160. So helping the cops solve a murder, it's literally the easiest part of my day. ABC Tuesdays. Fall's most anticipated drama is all new. High potential. That big brain of hers is going to help us close out a lot of cases. Caitlin Olsen is the new face of investigation. You're a single mom pretending to be a cop. I am not pretending. I'm just out here super copping. High potential. All new Tuesdays, 10, 9 central on ABC and stream on Hulu. Shopping during that afternoon slump? Your retail therapy could lead to more adventures. The American Airlines Advantage program makes it possible to turn your everyday routine into exciting travel. Simply join for free and let your spending, dining, and shopping unlock a world of unforgettable getaways. And with flights from SeaTac to destinations like Los Angeles or Honolulu, more adventures await. Head to aa.com slash radio and join the American Airlines Advantage program for free. Life is better as an Advantage member. Second date update. We got an email from a woman who says people in her area yeah. aren't really using Bumble or Tinder anymore. Oh, what are they mm. using? Not even my favorite app, Clinger, Ooh. where personal <laughs> space is just a myth. <laughs> <laughs> at least everybody on the app agrees. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. match and you hear a knock at your door immediately? Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? Find your fellow codependent <laughs> on Clinger. But she says she's found a more unique way to meet guys. And we've heard of these types of movements before where people are, like, trying to move away yeah. from the apps in favor of other methods. Yeah. So let's talk to her and find out what she did. Her name is Mandy. Mandy, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. You sound cute and fun and like you did something fun to meet some guys. Stop she said, hey. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get that from hey? You did it? <laughs> I got, you, you sound perfect for Klinger, Brooke. So, <laughs> man, tell us about this uh, guy that you met and how you met him. What's your strategy now? Oh, my goodness. So I'm loving not being on dating apps anymore. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. It's really been a game changer for you, huh? It really has. And there was this TikTok movement going around. And I want to say it started in Spain. Mm -hmm. And it's where singles meet up at a grocery store. So, what? like, you'll, you'll have a store and you'll have a time. And mm. they usually see a huge turnout, like 60 to 70 people take oh. part in it. At a grocery wait, store. Wait, Whoa. who <laughs> organizes it? Like, how do you find when the meetup is? I yeah. feel like... I'll see you guys at Check Stand 5. Like, I'd be the person not invited to the grocery store for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks is already there. Yeah. Oh, are we dating? <laughs> What's going on? So, it is a, mo a movement on TikTok. So, like, people will just kind of post the store name and time and they'll get reposted and reposted and oh. then people just okay. show I've up. seen like not exactly this but like I've seen people go on and they'll be like I think this bar would be fun for singles go this Friday night and it's oh, like a popular yeah. bar and it goes viral but and we're doing just, like, grocery stores instead but you can just say yeah exactly but that doesn't okay. make sense like if you're gonna do it you share it well, right? if, you're like I'm going if you to watch this. any video where it says hot singles might be here I feel like you're into it no. okay. yeah, I see a lot of those websites and they're <laughs> never true so a I bunch of talk. people go to the grocery <laughs> store hoping to meet someone Right. Do, do they go to the meat section? Because that no. would be really funny. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. I'm by the water because yeah. I'm thirsty. Mandy, tell us how it works. <laughs> what happens once you're in the store? Then here's where it gets a little like saucy. Um, Ooh, so you go sauce. and you get a pineapple. Oh, um, wait. Okay. Girl, <laughs> okay, that's that's a pineapple. Pineapple. Sorry, baby. Hey. 
Okay. No, no, no. It's it's not like that. Oh. Then why is it that fruit? Then why is it? Then choose like You know, I wondered the same thing. Like, you couldn't have chosen a different fruit, but whatever. Okay. So you put it upside down, which I know what? runs... <laughs> Like, ramp it with that other... Are you sure you're going to the right meat? Yeah. <laughs> you just the confused one here. Brooke, shut up. I'm loving this idea more and more. <laughs> Keep going, Mandy. So, then you put it upside down in your cart, and then you go over to where the wine is, and you grab a bottle of wine. Okay, is there a little bowl where you put your keys <laughs> in? <laughs> okay. You got okay. an upside down pineapple and some wine. Yes, and you... Check out who's around to see if they have the same items in theirs. And oh. if you see somebody who kind of tickles your fancy, so to speak, give them a light bump with okay. your cart. Uh, <laughs> and then the pineapple oh. tips over. So now we're bumping carts, yeah. huh? I will say this this can be subtle because even if you don't see someone at first, you could just wander around. Looks like you're looking How for How long do you have to wander in there? I have a hours. question, though. If you bump someone, do they bump you back? Like, how do <laughs> they you run away with the cart? Yeah. Very well, you would... If they're not interested, they could, you know, just, oh, sorry, excuse me, and walk away. Oh. Okay, wow. that, so bumping carts is the equivalent of swiping, basically. Yeah. And exactly. It, okay, so, so who who did you bump <laughs> upside down pineapple wine carts with? <laughs> right? Could be a coincidence. You got it, Jeff. <laughs> We're all following. Who was it? That is how I met Mark. Mark. Oh, okay. 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 And then how do you how do you turn that into a date? Well, we, once we bumped, then we exchanged information. Um, oh. We actually got together and we went to a wine bar. Oh. oh. And it was it was really nice. Like, we just got to sit down and really talk. And it, there wasn't all that anxiety that mm. you would normally feel because you've already seen them. So you're not worried that they're lying on their dating apps. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, I can okay. Because you kind of pre-approved, I guess right? looking at them, you know nothing about well, yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, anxiety <laughs> tends to go down after you bump carts with someone. Yeah, exactly. So what, what did you like about Mark when you were hanging out with him? You know, I just, I liked that he's really funny. Aww. And he's a, he's an animal lover. Mm-hmm. And which okay. is great. Flag, that's good. Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, he, he's just, he seemed very genuine. So did you get the vibe that you guys were going to do this again? You're going to see each other again? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the weirdest thing. Like he walked me home, you know, we kissed and then oh, boom, cute. gone. <laughs> done. And then done. That's what you said? No, and then he was gone. He oh, was. Gone. He ran away after the kiss. <laughs> He's like, "Oh my god, I have wine breath," and then he runs away. <laughs> He's embarrassed. <laughs> Maybe he had to go get another pineapple. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. So, have oh. you called him or texted him? Or are you waiting for him? Um, we, no, I I did. I called him and I texted, and I've gotten nothing. And now you're oh. also waiting. Have you been back to the grocery store to see if he's still, like, perusing? <laughs> well, I haven't seen a, a name or a time come up for another one. Oh, so no. okay. And this yeah. one, like, I had been doing this for a little while, and this, but he was my first bump. Oh, wow. Your first bump. Oh. You never forget your first upside-down pineapple. <laughs> yeah. So how long has it been since you and Mark went on that date? It's been about two weeks. Okay. Oh, that's a while. Yeah, long enough that he should have reached out. Yeah, or something. Right. Okay, well, let's call him and find out what he has to say. We're going to come back and do your second date update. You got right. a pineapple or something? Or do we have to do I two? put in my Instacart order already, so <laughs> we'll be back. We'll do it right after Thanks. this. Hold on. Second date update. I am never going to shop for groceries the same ever again after Dude, this call you, with Mandy. No, you and me both. I am going to be just eyeballing, eagle eye. Who, who's in here to meet oh, other people? I didn't think of it. Yes. Because no. Mandy told us about a strange new dating ritual that apparently started with singles in Spain. And now it's come over to the U.S. where people will show up at a grocery store. Like a lot of people, they yeah. take all the pineapples, put them in carts upside down, and meet in the wine section, <laughs> then start bumping each other to show interest. <laughs> and this is, <laughs> wink, definitely 100% not a swingers oh, thing. Yeah. Even though it sounds like it to literally every Everyone. person on the planet, except for our listener Mandy, because she ended up meeting a guy named Mark there. And she only went out with Mark. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, you see, know? instead of everybody with pineapples, yeah, yeah, just yeah. with Mark, they went out, had a really good time, and this was her first grocery store bump sesh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we never asked, what about Mark? Mandy, oh, did you discuss that? Has he bumped before? 
He said he had. Um, oh, okay. 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 He and a girl had gone out a few times after they had a bump session at the grocery <laughs> Dude, store. It's crazy how successful this is for what, people. What's it like when it's busy and it just sounds like a hundred shopping carts crashing in the corner I of think- one... <laughs> store. Even more fascinating is how confused the produce man must be. Yeah. Like, <laughs> wait, they wanted my pineapples and now they don't want them on their back and they're We're missing yeah, yeah. What's going on? There's a, clearly a lot of questions that yeah. we have. Mm-hmm. And she's Just, a rookie. She can't answer them. Yeah. yeah the only right. person that can is the tropical fruit stud that we're about to call oh. here. Hopefully we'll squeeze some answers out of him. Okay. Can we call him Mr. Chiquita? No, Pineapple, what's his name? Oh, Del Mark. Monte? Pineapple Mark. Mark. Oh, okay, Pineapple right. Mark. We'll just call Del him Mark Mont- until we like get Del more Mont- from him. But, I kind of uh, like Del Marque. Let's just dial him, see if he picks up first. Here we go. Hello? Hey, is this Mark? Yeah. Hey, Mark, not sure if you're ready for this, but you are on a radio show right now. We're called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Yeah, what's Hi. up, Mark? Yeah. And boy, have we been dying to talk to you. Oh, my God. Seriously, so many questions. Who is this again? I'm sorry. Sorry, it's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. I didn't mean to, like, scare you. We're a whole show, bro. It's, yeah. it's four of us. Yeah, uh, we have a radio show and we do a podcast as yeah. well. Yeah, I'm Jeff, and um, you, you heard everybody else. So... <laughs> I, I'd like we to ask. We know who he thinks matters. <laughs> yeah, so we want to ask you a little bit if it's okay about your dating life, because we heard that you met a woman the other day at the grocery store named Mandy. Oh my god! She told you about that. Yeah. yeah. You don't gotta be embarrassed, bro. We think yeah. it's really interesting. Yeah, she told us all about like the TikTok trend of yeah. going to the grocery store at the same time. Like a call goes out to hot singles and everybody yeah. shows up and puts pineapples in their cart. And you like bump their cart a little yeah. bit. Apparently you bumped with Mandy and she liked it. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have I have a couple of friends that they're doing this trend and they told me you should uh, see what it's about. Yeah. But yeah I did that a, a couple of times. I, I met Mandy and I don't know. She, I thought she was cool. Okay. All right. That's good. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Cool enough to take out on an actual date to a wine bar, we heard. Yeah. We went out. It's just uh, towards the end of the date, uh, like a weird thing happened. I don't know if she told you guys about it. Weirder than the grocery Mm. store thing? Well, we heard you kiss. (laughs) Yeah, the kiss. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're supposed to like bump noses? Is there like a new thing? Was it not a good kiss? I walked her home and we kissed and it was really great. Oh. But I take her to her door. And she reaches into her purse yeah. and pulls out an envelope. Okay. okay. What is this, Hogwarts letter? What? The... I'm walking away thinking that this is a thank you for the night kind of letter. Yeah, you know? that's cute. Yeah. Wow. So I get to my car mm-hmm. and I open this letter and it says, thank you for this lovely date. Aww. And then under it, it says, here is my pre and post date expenses. Huh? Wait, it's an invoice? Yeah. To what? Oh! Wait. There was the makeup, there was the pedicure, things like that. She needed her toes painted to go to a wine bar? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, bro. Yeah, just put on closed toed shoes. Yeah, but after mm-hmm. the date, if things go well. Okay. Like, I thought, I didn't know that this was part of it. That's like, insane. Yeah, her Venmo was on there. There was a Venmo barcode. She put her Venmo handle on <laughs> And you're doing it to maybe yeah. a guy you don't like more than someone where it actually went well. Oh, that's like, a why good would point. you? <laughs> and even like, you're still, wasting my time. Why yeah. would you do it? Especially because didn't you pay for the wine bar? Yeah, well, I paid for everything. I thought, okay, I'll treat her to a date. That's normal. I just oh didn't know there were... Oh, my hey, God. don't lie to us. You did not pay for everything. Okay. Right? <laughs> or, maybe, or, petty. or maybe he didn't that have enough ridiculous. money to pay for the Venmo thing. That's so a lot. 250 on top And come of on. Else? What, is she having to buy new makeup for the date? True. Please. Well, my palette Please. ran out. We're... Everything does run out at the same time. Don't get me started. It's annoying. <laughs> we're throwing out a lot of theoreticals. We don't know the true story. The only one that does is Mandy, who Mandy. is on the other line listening to this call right now, Mark, and wanting to talk to you. Hi, Mark. Oh, girl. Andy. Um, Hi. I I didn't realize that was what bothered you. Okay, so you admit that you invoiced him for everything before and during the date? Well, I went out, I got my makeup done, I got my hair done, I got a new outfit, 
Good. I got shoes. Yeah. You shouldn't put that much in for a man, just saying. Yeah, seriously, in the first we're not place. worth it. But I, I didn't ask you mm-hmm. to do any of that, and I had no idea that there was a bill attached to our dating culture. You were insistent that you wanted to go out and that you yeah, wanted, wanted to, to pay. Oh. And I wanted to pay, but to give me the receipts, it was just, it was impersonal. I didn't yeah. feel right about it. I walked away feeling good, thinking, oh, cool, I got a cute envelope with a note. <laughs> Instead, I had a receipt. I, what are you doing? I mean, a letter does kind of make it more personal in a way. No, it doesn't. Oh, she, did she sign At least she it? took the I time mean... to write it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things I, I didn't see that as a big deal. Have you had other men actually fork up the cash for these invoices? Because my guess is this isn't your first time. Yeah, no, I've done it before, and I've never had any real complaints. Really? Maybe in the pineapple community, the standards for payment are a little bit different. I hate to admit, though, if I went on a date with a girl and it went well and I wanted to see her again and she billed me 50 bucks, I'd be like, okay. Oh, no. She knows I'm financially stable. I can afford it. I can take care of her. I don't think she's thinking about that when she asks. And, like, I just, like, these are expenses about just being an adult that you just have to incur. Like, this is just life expenses that you got to take on yourself. Mandy, do you? But don't you feel that we're getting a little screwed over by the amount of money we have to pay? It's like kind of a shared thing. You both put in your effort and your money. Mandy, is there a way that maybe going forward you could see not doing the invoice or at least giving him a discount on on (laughs) the things that he has to pay for? If it's going to make you feel more comfortable, if we go out again, you know, we can go Dutch. Go Dutch. On the date or on the pre-date expenses? Yeah. On all the expenses. <laughs> I don't even understand what that means. Yeah. It means she pays for half and he pays for half. Of what, He pays for one foot, she pays for the other foot. <laughs> I thought it like... meant you paid for your own crap. Like when like, the bill comes, no. you split it. Oh, okay. That's not how modern pineapple dating works, Brooke. <laughs> Get up with the times. Oh, Mark, it sounds like she's trying to be reasonable with you. Oh. Uh-huh. Offering a, a pretty significant discount on oh. the rates that you have to pay. So <laughs> yeah. I would give her another chance. This is like when you tell a company you're going to cancel and they give you that last offer. Exactly. Like, okay, we'll do one more trial. Is it too late to go Dutch on the first bill or are we just talking about the second uh, bill? Well, yeah. You know, we're not in charge of the entire financial landscape. Uh, All we're in charge of is paying uh-huh. for the date that you go on. Because okay. we will offer to fund it for you, Mark, if you'll see Mandy one more time. If you're willing to talk about Mm -hmm. splitting things down the line and down the middle between you and I in the future, then I don't see a reason not to. No reason. I think that's that's a yes. yes. (laughs) With spreadsheets included? Yes, spreadsheets, Excel. You need to keep receipts, Mark. Okay, if you get a haircut, you got to remember. See how many pumps of foundation she's using. Oh, no, you got to count numbers. This is some (laughs) sexy talk that we're having on the show right now. But, Mark, is that a yes from you? That's a yes from me. Yes, okay. Mandy. Oh, that is oh. shocking. Did All not right. see that coming, but congratulations, Mandy. You got yourself another date. Well, thank you guys very much. And Mark, once you then know me the uh, half for the first date, we can schedule a second date. Oh. Hey. Wow. I, Mandy, I thought you were nuts, but now I'm thinking I want you to do my financials. <laughs> I'm <being> serious. <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Remember when we first started this call and Mandy said, hey, and Brooke goes, oh, my God, you sound like so much fun. (laughs) I bet you are the funnest person ever. And and I bet she make good money. Did not sound very fun by the end of the call, did she? God, it's like sometimes I'm too negative and then I try to be positive and it bites me in the butt. It's 50-50. You chose the wrong. I always chose the wrong. (laughs) Always. I'm going to tell you, if there's two lanes of traffic, I will always get in the (laughs) middle of the (laughs) <laughs> it's not your fault, Brooke. It sounded like she got caught by the end pretty big time. Dude, yeah. th- she got another date. Yeah. Yeah, that that and got crazy. everything paid for. Yeah, I mean, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever everyone else is doing, they're doing it wrong. Yeah. Oh. He's doing it right. She probably should have told us about her invoicing thing before we called the guy, but, yeah. you know. Sometimes I know. I'm like, why didn't you say that And you know, to them? Oh, it's probably or normal. Or why didn't you realize that's the issue? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, maybe met that many guys pay it without oh, talking to her. My God, about I it. can't even imagine. I do kind of want to follow her on Venmo to see how often it lights up, though. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I mean? She could make a living off of this. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> if you want to get help with your dating life, please don't invoice us. We yeah. will not pay. Mm-hmm. We will call the person, though, who's not calling you back. Go check out all of our second dates wherever you get your podcasts at Brooke and Jeffrey. <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Do you want to buy a home but don't know where to begin? Let's make home the goal. Hi, I'm Nancy Cole from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, also known as HUD. Our Office of Housing Counseling has you covered, offering free or low-cost counseling services to help potential home buyers and current homeowners. Our nearly 4,000 housing counselors across the U.S. are here to help you navigate your home buying journey every step of the way. To learn more and to find a HUD-certified housing counselor near you, visit hud.gov forward slash make home the goal. Are your lingering depression symptoms getting in your way? If you're on an antidepressant for major depressive disorder, MDD, and you've made some progress, but your unresolved symptoms leave you feeling stuck, it may be time to ask your doctor about Vralar, Cariprazine. Vralar is a prescription medicine approved for use with antidepressant medicines to treat MDD in adults. Adding Vralar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. Results may vary. Build on the progress you've already made. Ask your doctor if adding on Vralar to your current antidepressant could help give you a lift in relief. Vralar is not approved in elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis or for people under 18. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion as these may be life-threatening or uncontrolled muscle movements which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Difficulty moving, tremors, slow or uncontrolled body movements, restlessness, feeling like you need to move around, nausea, constipation, insomnia, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are common side effects. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. For a lift and relief, ask about adding Vralar, V-R-A-Y-L-A-R. Visit Vralar.com or call 1-877-6-VRALAR to learn more. It's the Disney Plus Blockbuster Offer. For a limited time, get three months of Disney Plus for just $1.99 a month and watch huge hits like Inside Out 2. Come on! And Agatha All Along. The gang's all here. Plus Bluey. Yes! And Descendants The Rise of Red. Get three months of Disney Plus for just $1.99 a month. All of these and more, now streaming. 18 plus only, new and eligible returning subscribers only. After three months Disney Plus Basic with ads auto-renews, then current monthly retail price $9.99 per month until canceled. Offer ends 9-27-24. Terms apply. Hey there, fellow globetrotters and destination dreamers. If you're anything like us, you know that life's too short for boring toasters and towels. That's why we decided to ditch the traditional wedding registry and went with HoneyFund.com. Imagine your friends and family chipping in to send you on a dreamy exotic honeymoon. Practical? Check. Meaningful? Double check. Plus, it's fee-free and so fun for wedding guests to shop. So why get more stuff when you can have unforgettable experiences? Join the revolution at HoneyFund.com and start your adventure today. This is where projects come to life. Our showrooms are designed to inspire with the latest products from top brands, curated in an inviting, hands-on environment, and a team of industry experts to support your project. We'll be there to make sure everything goes as planned, from product selection to delivery coordination. At Ferguson Bath, Kitchen, and Lighting Gallery, your project is our priority. Discover great brands like Gen Air at your local Ferguson showroom. 